Hey y'all, it's Stacy with southernbite.com. Today we're in the kitchen making my lemon pepper catfish. This is a super simple preparation that adds tons of flavor to your supper. We're gonna start by making the dredge for our fish. I've got a pan large enough here that our catfish fillets will fit in. To it, I'm going to add a half a cup of all-purpose flour. I've got three quarters of a cup of cornmeal and this is plain cornmeal, not like cornmeal mix or self-rising cornmeal. To that, I'm going to add three tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning and three teaspoons of garlic powder. Now, most lemon pepper seasonings are going to have salt in them, but it might be worth checking the label of the one that you have in your kitchen to make sure that it does, because we want to make sure we get some salt on this fish. If all else fails, you can literally just taste it and make sure that it's seasoned correctly. Now we're working with U.S. farm-raised catfish today. Um, when I was a kid, one of my most favorite things to do was to go fishing with my grandfather. Uh, we would go catch catfish, we would bring them back, he would pull out the propane fryer, we would fry those catfish right in the yard. One of the things that he always taught me was soaking them in buttermilk. Now, for those types of catfish, it would help to remove a muddy or a fishy flavor. Being that we're using the U.S. farm-raised catfish, you'd be surprised to learn that actually you won't notice that flavor because these are pond-raised catfish. In this case, I still have it in the buttermilk, not for that reason, but because it helps the dredge adhere to the fish itself. So we're just gonna coat this right here in our dredge. I've got a cast iron skillet over here with some vegetable oil. You could use vegetable oil or peanut oil. The thing to be cautious about when we're frying like this is we never want to put more than about a third, um, fill the, the, the skillet more than like a third with oil. As we add fish to it, that oil level is gonna raise and we certainly don't wanna create a situation where oil could bubble over. I've got my oil at about 350 degrees. And the easy way to test this is you can actually take a little bit of the dredge and if it fries right there in the top, you know your oil is about ready. I like to use um, a thermometer if I have it, but you can use that. We're gonna place this right in the oil. I'm gonna rinse my hands off here for just a second. Get all that dredge off. We're gonna cook this four to five minutes on each side. All right, so you can see this is beautifully golden brown on both sides. We're gonna remove it to a pan here that's got a rack, and I'm gonna store this uh, in a warm oven just to keep it nice and crispy and warm while we cook the other pieces. These are big pieces of fish, so we have to kind of cook them one at a time. You see how just how simple that is. There's tons of flavor in this catfish. You can get this recipe and hundreds more on our website at southernbite.com. Y'all enjoy. There are a lot of restaurants that fry some fine catfish, and that's still my favorite way to eat them. But sometimes you want something a little different, and this is a delicious way to enjoy one of the great products produced on Alabama farms. And a big thanks to the Alabama Farmers Federation's Catfish Division for sponsoring today's cooking segment. As with all of Stacy's recipes, you can find this one and hundreds more at his website, southernbite.com. Now that's going to put the wraps on Simply Southern for today. I hope you'll join us again next week when we'll meet the top livestock auctioneer in the world. Yes, I said in the world. Wow. And he's from right here in Alabama. Plus, we'll see a nursery unlike any other in Alabama. These folks in Geneva County are producing lotus flowers for a number of different uses. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. We'll see you then. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.